hi here we are again welcome back to the channel if you don't know who i am my name is sheila i'm a stay-at-home wife and mother and i create cleaning cooking mom life type content today we are doing a grocery haul and um i did not go to sam's this time i normally go to sam's as well as my local grocery store um for groceries but this month I decided not to go to Sam's um, it was difficult <laughs> I feel like my haul my shopping was not the same but all of this I did with grocery pickup so there were some substitutes there were some things that were taken off of my list which is always a risk um, and so yeah everything is everywhere um, let me just go ahead and get started so as you can see, my entire kitchen is taken over by this hall. And it's all here. You guys, I even have stuff in the sink. So there's literally stuff everywhere. So yeah, let's just go ahead and get into it so I'll start you guys back over here I have these um, cross cut ribs flank beef ribs I did have a different type of beef rib on my list but this was a substitute so this is what we got um, which is fine I guess I've been craving some ribs and um, you yeah, know my husband only eats beef or doesn't eat pork so there is that um, I also got quite a bit of um, hamburger meat so approximately 10 pounds looks like it's a little bit less than 10 pounds of hamburger meat there I got this ham this is going to be for Thanksgiving just because um, it's quite small. I want some ham and honestly, it's just going to be us here. So, um, some ground chicken breast. This is for a recipe for some um, lettuce wraps, like a P.F. Chang, um, a P.F. Chang copycat type recipe. Um, I got two packs of this bacon. I've never had this bacon, but I didn't want like the cheap little rinky dink bacon. I wanted some nice thick bacon. You know, I normally get good bacon at Sam's, but yeah, I didn't go to Sam's this month. So yeah, there's that. I got a squeezed sour cream back there. I got a uh, whipped cream cream cheese right here this is also a substitute I got this monster cheese here which I did get and then I had ordered some white cheddar cheese and I guess they were out so they substituted for more monster cheese I don't need two monster cheeses it's for a recipe I would have preferred a different type of cheese but what can I do it was a substitute um, I got some more of the honey sweet cornbread. We love this and I made sure to get it in an even amount this time. I noticed last time I got three which doesn't make any sense because I made two packages at a time for our family so it was off but there is eight packages of that here. I also got four packages of this butter and herb pasta side just to have a quick um, side to throw together for dinner 
I got these little yellow rice um, packs. If you've seen any of my previous hauls when I've had this, you know that it is actually cheaper to buy it in the smaller packs versus the bigger packs. I've priced it out. So I just cook two small packs at a time usually. And then um, it still comes out cheaper than the same amount of ounces in a bigger pack. So I got eight of those. I got this um, yellow cake mix, which I want to make a dessert with. Some um, apples over there, you'll see. I got two packs of fettuccine noodles. I also got two boxes of the bowtie pasta or the fafarelli, but I got the mini ones. And then I got one box of rotini. I think I have some more pasta, but it's in a different location. I got a box of these oatmeal cream pies because it's just my weakness. I don't know what it is. If you know, you know I'm more of a cakey type person, and so I don't know what I don't know what my weakness is with that, but that's my weakness. I went ahead and got a big bag of shredded collard greens. It was just the better deal, um, so I can make some greens. I also got a bag of spinach got a bag of Italian romaine. Be some salads here in our future. I got this uh, romaine, baby red butter, and arugula blend. I think I meant to put one of these salad packs back, but I ended up getting both of them, which is fine. We'll eat them. I got this pack of fresh green beans. I just love fresh green beans in a pan with a little bit of butter and some bacon ooh, ooh, ooh. and some diced tomatoes if you haven't seen um, any of my cooking videos um, I like to put a little bit of diced tomatoes on my green beans delicious celery sticks uh, for my dressing I got some fresh blueberries because y'all know this is my daughter's absolute favorite fruit I was going to give her some right now, but she is actually occupied with some chips right now. I got two packs of Go-Gurts. Um, this is my kids, one of my kids' favorite snacks. And so, you know, typically at Sam's I would get a huge box of them, but I just went ahead and got two boxes. You guys, I'm really like having Sam's withdrawal. This is crazy. Um, I got this little tiny block of Velveeta, which will be um, for a recipe. I got another thing of butter just because holiday season. There's tons of baking about to be happening. I got some cinnamon rolls with cream cheese icing, as well as cinnamon rolls with just the original icing. Two cans of this Ready Whip. It is considerably smaller than the ones we get at Sam's but you know it is what it is I got two cans of these um water chestnuts diced this is for that um lettuce wraps recipe I got two cans of this caramel apple pie filling for a recipe I want to try out that's also what the cake mix is for I got one box of this Ritz crackers. I got a pack of the Hawaiian rolls. One sad little pack. I don't know why I only got one. I should have got at least two, maybe three, because considerably smaller than the one I would get at Sam's. Um, and I got the hot dog buns, but I also got them in like this sweet Hawaiian. The store brand's called Sweet Aloha, but we know where they're going with it, right? Okay, right. <laughs> I got these um, flour tortillas. These are the ones that you have to cook. Aria, enough. These are the ones that you have to cook on the comal. They're like just the dough, and you have to cook them before you eat them. And I got two packs of string cheese. This is my other kids favorite snacks so these are their go-to's they will grab one of these two snacks all day every day 
I have, um, I got some Hershey's chocolate caramel, uh, creamer. Hmm. I thought I had gotten another creamer as well, two creamers. So I'll have to look and see if that was taken off. There were a few things that were taken off and a few things that were substituted. So maybe that got taken off or I have a bag missing somewhere, which could be a possibility. Um, I got a variety pack of granola bars. These were total impulse buys. These dulce de leche wafers. I've never tried them, but I'm curious to try them. Also, just another uh, impulse mommy snack buy. These little Ritz um, chips in the sour cream and onion. I haven't had this flavor before, but I have had these little cracker chip things and I like them. I also got some bowls because they were like 50 cents each. Um, if you've heard my story with the Dawn Power Wash, um, it messed up my bowl, so I went ahead and got some bowls. And then I got these two cups, two training cups for my daughter, so they have the lids and stuff. They're definitely not a spill-proof cup, but um, yeah, we're going to give those a go. So this is everything that is here. All right, down here I have a bag of hot and zesty chips. This is basically like store brand chips of, you know, similar name brand type chips. Yeah, I'll get my drift. I got a pack of um, paper towels. I got a bag of pretzels, something a little different than just chips. I got these overnight diapers for my daughter. Instead of pull-ups, these are cheaper and it doesn't matter to me. Just something for her in overnight. So I went ahead and got these. You get more bang for your buck for it to be a diaper, diaper versus a pull-up. Anyways, they're overnight diapers. And I got these. Um, store brand diapers for the baby in a size 2. He's never tried these, but I'm sure they'll be fine. Um, we do cloth diaper them as well, so that's why they're not huge jumbo packs of diapers. Then we have some laundry soap here. I have my usual um, Arm & Hammer laundry soap with the odor booster the purple lid. This one is my absolute favorite. I typically use it with the downy, just the regular downy, but they didn't have it. So this is the April Fresh. I don't know how I'm going to like it. Eh. We'll see. Yes, baby. Yes. This for sure is a um, substitution. Eh, I'm not too happy about it. Um, it says it kills 99.99% of viruses and bacteria, so maybe it'll be okay. Um, I haven't read the back, but this is the Lysol All-Purpose Cleaner. The cleaner that I had put on my list was an antibacterial type cleaner. So, I mean, I guess as long as it kills the germs, it kills the germs. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. So yeah, we'll give this a go. I don't think I've ever used this, but I do lo love the smell of lemon, so. This I was excited to get. This is the Wyman Gas Range Cleaner and Degreaser. Removes the toughest burnt on food. So if you've been following me for a while or any of my other um, cleaning videos and stuff, you know that I struggle with cleaning my stove. Sometimes I have to use a razor on it. It's a whole hot mess. I'm hoping that this will solve that problem. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Okay, here we are on this counter. And I got four of these hot and spicy bowl noodles. Um, I have bought a case from Sam's two months ago, I think. And I would have preferred to buy a whole case again, but they didn't have them by the case. So I just got a variety of others since I had to buy them individual anyways. 
we got the shin ramen which is spicy we love this ramen so i got four of these i got these um ansong honestly never tried them but like i said i do love trying um you know different types of noodles and things like that ramen noodles a little bit upgrading and this is the neogori um probably not saying it right but that's okay the spicy seafood noodles and we've had these before and we love them so got those we also got these i don't know if they're new or whatever but i had never seen them um but these are the tapatio uh ramen noodles and i got one in chicken one in original and one in beef just to give them a try and uh see what they're about i also got these oscar meyer real bacon recipe pieces uh i would prefer to have my huge bag of bacon bits from um sam's but we're not gonna talk about that you guys i need to quit i need to quit with my sam's okay goya coconut milk one can of that i saw a recipe i want to say maybe on instagram reels you guys that thing sucks me in sometimes but it was for um some basmati rice with like coconut milk and like i think maybe some curry and i don't know what but it looked delicious and i want to try it so i got a can of coconut milk I got two big things of this um, canned chicken breast. There's six cans in each one, so it's 12 cans. Um, definitely want to stock up the pantry and keep the pantry stocked. If you guys don't know, I do have a large family, but we kind of buy in bulk and make sure we have a pantry stock for food. I guess people call it emergency stock food or what have you in the event things ramp up out here in the world. But we need to you know be on lockdown for a few months like i know that we could stay in our house for a few months two three maybe even four months and not have to worry about food so um i got some more pumpkin i've really and this is just the store brand um of the pumpkin so i've really been enjoying making pumpkin um pancakes and different things with pumpkin pumpkin is a super food which i had found out and i love that so anything super food we're all about it pumpkin spinach things like that i have two four five i don't know why i got an odd number five cans of chili this is texas style chili no beans this is more for like chili dogs and things like that I got some ranch style beans just because it's been a long time since we've had these in the cupboard. We have plenty of like pinto beans and kidney beans and black beans and things like that. But it's been a while since we had some ranch style beans. So I got six of those. And I got eight cans of this super sweet whole corn. We're running low on corn and I just want to stay stocked up. Now over here <laughs> in my sink... I have two loaves of the honey wheat bread. Um, you guys know my kids like white bread. Me and my husband would prefer wheat bread. Um, so I thought maybe we'd meet in the middle and have this honey wheat bread. I think the kids will eat this. Um, so, yeah. I got this huge, huge things of eggs. So it's... Um, Two packs of the 36 eggs. And here's some more pasta. These are the little um, corkscrew pastas. So I got a thing of corkscrew pasta. So that's everything that is over here. Ooh, take a breath. We are getting there, guys. We are getting there. So I have three massive cucumbers. You just never know what size you're going to get, especially with someone else picking your stuff. So I got three of them. Love that. I got a head of romaine lettuce. You guys, I got so much lettuce this time. I don't know what I was thinking when I was making this list. I think maybe I meant to put some things, like switch things out for other things, and they all just stayed on my list. I don't really know, but it's okay. We'll eat it. Some salads. 
are a good thing. Um, my husband loves DiGiorno's. I had this thin crust pepperoni. Also, this DiGiorno croissant in the four cheeses. These had coupons for them. This also had a coupon, so I thought I'd check it out. It's a Sonoma Flatbreads. Never tried it before, but it is gluten-free. Barbecue chicken and bacon. It just looked good, and so I got it for, like, mommy pizza, you know? Daddy, kids, mommy, you know? I got these um, famous season fries, the Checkers season fries. These are absolute favorite. I got three packs of the beef um, smoked sausage. I know my husband doesn't eat pork, so I like to try to get the beef one whenever I can. I got a thing of Italian sausage. This is for a soup. So delicious. Wait till I share that recipe. It's going to be coming soon. Um, I got some regular sausage as well as some hot and spicy. I got two packs of hot dogs because I got kids and these are good just to have in the freezer you never know when you might need them and if you need something like quick lunch or something and they happen to be in the freezer they defrost really quickly when you pull them out run them under some cold water you're good to go two bunches of cilantro one bunch of green onions and two of these miscellaneous bags of onions we go through some onions in this house we love onions I got some two, I think it was supposed to be three, but I got two heads of garlic. I got, I got this um, sinus relief, congestion and pain. This is the Texas Clear brand. I've heard really good things about this brand. Um, I haven't tried it myself, but um my husband gets a lot of sinus issues. We have allergies in this house, things like that. So I want to go ahead and stock up for our pantry. Um, and the Sudafed PE sinus and congestion for daytime and nighttime. Just in case, like I said, I like to keep stuff on stock just in case we need it. Um, I was out, have been out for a while. My Goya total seasoning, so good. Then holiday time, I went ahead and got some sage and some rosemary. I don't normally keep those just on hand, but, you know, for holidays, turkey dressing and stuff, you want those um, seasonings. And then I got a large bag of cheese. There was supposed to be more cheese in this haul. I don't know what happened. So, I definitely either... I definitely either feel like I have a bag missing, which I'll double check my car, or they took out more than I thought they took out. I feel like I'm missing, I'm missing things. I really do feel like I'm missing things. Oh, well, let's keep going on the big drinks are the big things are drinks. All right. So I will start in here in the laundry room. We have three cases of water. These come with 32 in there. The ones at Sam's come with 45, but it's okay. Three cases of water, a case of Dr. Pepper, and a case of Sprite. These are the 20 packs. Got this case of baby wipes. It's the nice and clean uh, green tea and cucumber. Never tried this brand, but I am curious to... Um, see how we like them not sure they had a coupon as well on these I'm going to I think leave the prices up on the screen I'm sure you've seen them already all right so I got the three pack of the Capri Suns I got two of these eight packs of the strawberry banana body armors I got one of this uh mini cans these uh ginger ales and these mini cans of the Cokes. Now this was supposed to also be a 10 pack box like this, but um, they had to substitute it. So I'll have to look at the receipt and see what the difference is. Um, these are good if we want to give soda to the kids. Um, they don't get like a whole can of soda. It's a smaller amount. And even then we might still have them split it. Usually if we give them soda as like a treat or something they split a can of soda so um i got the fruit punch flavor one of the eight packs 
the fruit punch flavor of the butter on body armor as well this uh a and w cream soda was a substitute it was supposed to be the dr pepper with cream soda which is so delicious it's one of my favorites but they substituted for cream plain cream soda which is perfectly fine i like cream soda but a little bummer because i was looking forward to it um and then my grocery store did not sell um the snapples like in the individual little plastic bottles like we normally get at sam's and so i just bought three of these um jugs of the snapple apple which is my favorite flavor um i think it's all of our favorite flavor to be honest but yeah, so we'll just have those in jug form and have to pour them in cups, which is perfectly fine. So this is what the drink situation is looking like. All right, guys, this is it for my haul today. Um, hopefully it gave you some ideas of something to buy for your household or if you're just curious about what we have here. Um, yeah i'm curious i know i have people from other countries that watch these videos of mine and things so i'm always curious to know what you like what you don't like what you have what you don't have so leave comments down below and let me know how it is for you guys and i'll see you on the next one bye